Hello, my name is Airdas Kirstukas and in this video I will show you how to create amazing blog post with Astra Free Team by using Free Gutenberg Builder. Let's have a look what we will make. We're gonna make a page like this where it's gonna be some header like tutorials and then it's gonna be section which gonna display its two posts. If you're gonna scroll down then we're gonna have another section of displaying our blog pages and if you're gonna go slow scroll down i gonna show you how to as well if you would like to show the post pages in the post monsonry style and as well gonna show how to show in a carousel if you would like or even in a timeline like this so let's begin let's assume you have a just website i just gonna show what plugins you need to install to be able to do that so let's do log in to the our website and now first we're gonna need to install the team so i'm gonna use it for this tutorial astra team we're going to plugins add new and you need to find starter templates let's install this one first activate so going to the starter templates just pick elementor pick page builder i'm gonna pick free ones and gonna look for the team which one have the blog postage anything gonna be fine so let's import this one and i'm gonna select delete previous let's import it site import imported site successfully let's visit site let's refresh and we can see the site is there let's go back to our dashboard and then we're going to the plugins add new and we're gonna we're gonna install gutenberg blocks ultimate addons for gutenberg install now and activate okay going dashboard going to the post and we have only one post i'm gonna bin it this one select and move to bin apply and i'm now gonna create few posts add new one i'm just gonna copy, copy and paste We're gonna see five postage so let's create our page and display all those posts add new page and we're gonna call blog and let's start create first add blog so we need a section let's scroll down ultimate add-ons advanced column let's add advanced columns press on advanced so pick number three and here if we're going down to ultimate the dance, we can pick advanced heading and we can write blog. You can pick the actually the size and the color of text and typography. You can adjust family, you can adjust size, font weight, line high. Let's leave it like this okay so that's quite good for the moment let's select advanced columns and scroll down to the background and pick image set background image we can pick any let's say pick this one i like insert it looks not bad overlay we can pick this one and opacity might be 62 something like this color this one heading we can change to something white okay so go back select again advanced columns go to the sh shape dividers bottom we have none and we can we can let's say pick 
paint brushes, select color, custom color, and just write white. Publish, and we can view our page. It doesn't look at the moment very good, but what we have, okay. Let's go and edit. Dashboard, pages, blog, edit. Okay, so first we have to go and say this one, no sidebar. And here, full width contain and disable title, disable future image for this post. And update, let's go preview. It looks much better. Full width stretch. Update, yep. We have this, just our letter sitting there. So how we can fix it, we go in blog select this one spacing and we go in bottom increase bottom and increase top something like this you can adjust update let's preview and you can see our headline i think it's a bit a bit too much so let's do 150 and yeah something like this looks much more nicer now let's go and add another block another advanced column select advanced column and pick one choose the block type post and pick post grid now we're gonna leave it to post leaving is this categories leaving this this all leaving number of items suggesting up to two date ordering by date order descending columns we just do two image large image position pick background the layer pick black one pass it to 69 content showing title not showing up author you can leave it up to you length i gonna do to 19 just gonna close those ones that wouldn't read more links we're gonna let's a bit to eight a bit corner around it we can adjust this one to 7 this one to 16 background color let's pick blue one or custom color like this typography h4 close colors title white excerpt color white meta color white all colors suggested you play as you like actually i prefer white spacing row gap that's gap between here, let's do 25 maybe. Column gap, it doesn't matter, you know, we have gonna display two, so just can leave even zero, or you can leave it some gap. Let's say leave it 20. As it was, content pad, this one, we can increase up to 64, let's say. Content padding mobile, we can adjust up a bit less, about 37 bottom we're gonna leave 15 15 we're gonna leave as the default on 25 update and you can see it's displaying to those two posts so okay we created those one let's go add another element as well advanced columns select one and add post grid it's only we're gonna leave now like this let's adjust a bit our Post grid, so post type, taxonomy, categories, categories, all, number of item displayed, let's leave it 6, order it by date, order descending, columns, free, equal, high, image, let's leave large and top, content, we can don't display author, if you want you can display, otherwise you can leave everything, you can accept length, you can leave 25 or you can adjust, I'm gonna leave 25 it is time read more link read more link i'm not gonna adjust i'm gonna leave but if you want play feel free to adjust you can adjust letters colors background colors meta colors except colors so you have a all control i'm gonna leave it as it is because it looks quite good for me spacing i'm gonna leave it as it is okay all that done so let's insert some image which is select advanced column going to the background and pick image select the background we can insert let's say this one select and fix non repeat and overlay layer we can pick custom color white and opacity let's say like this and shape divider let's say top we can do triangle custom color white 
and update let's preview yes we can see it looks nice what we need to do just move those posts a bit down how we can do it going back to our page going to the spacing and moving let's say 100 update let's have a look yeah it's not enough we can move 200 update it's a little bit more it's gonna be now good create another section Galen advanced columns select pick one add post i just gonna show what are the possibilities so post monsonry and you can see it gonna be displayed like this they just have a look yep showing like this if you prefer this way you can replace instead of showing up posters like this you can replace like this that's down to you and it's all settings the same we just already went through from of them add another advanced columns and then select one add blocks posts good and then you have if you like post carousel pick and you can as well adjust all those settings how many to show you can equal high if you want you can pause what speed image if you want a large top you can show it like this we have an option content as well you can adjust read link photography for we're using actually on those blocks colors you can adjust pacing as well so basically all the same settings we already have looked so i'm gonna do update and we're gonna have a look how it looks yep so you see it's always making the same size very nice future okay so go back and what else we have as well another one more things advanced columns i'm just gonna go and gonna make one column and then search for post post timeline i'm gonna show yeah you have a post timeline as well so it's all same settings actually you have all control basically post you can show what you are showing what categories you can pick if you want number of items you can as well pick how many you want to show by date layouts center 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 you can move to let's say right I'm gonna see on the right or left center stack on tablet okay going back image display large you can display different let's see thumbnail it's gonna be small okay medium large you can play it up with those settings content what you're gonna display do you want to display date you don't want to display how you wanna okay just almost close those ones timeline item let's say pick h4 same settings connectors might be new one you can pick another item at the moment this one but let's say you want this one item you see it's changed or you can leave it no item at all or you can have a look and you have 62 options if you like basically so that's up to you to play connector settings icon background size border and colors as well you can adjust here you have a lot of adjustments spacing as well you can play with those ones i'm not gonna play for this tutorial so update and we're gonna preview yeah as you can see the timeline works actually perfectly i am Ayrtas kristukas thanks for watching this if you enjoy this content, feel free to subscribe below and press notification bell as if you will watch my videos, it will help you to create amazing website. Thank you and bye bye.